In this video lesson, we're going to actually build our first Google Android application. Now, we've already installed the Android SDK, Java, the Eclipse program, and the plugins from Google into the Eclipse program. So, we have everything we need to begin. So let's go ahead, if you don't have it already open, let's open the um, Eclipse program. We, we installed that under our C drive in the uh, Eclipse folder. Let's click on the Eclipse icon. And by default, we should be opening our Android apps. Now once this opens, we want to go to File. I'm going to go to new and we're going to create a project under other and now we have our Android folder let's click that and we want to create an Android project so let's say next it's going to be begin building all the uh, folders and directories for us okay now our project name let's just call it as typical of any first application people create hello world okay and let's have a package it doesn't really matter what you put here but if you just want to copy me that'll make everything run a little smoother so we're just gonna type info dot mike dot android dot hello okay activity name let's call it hello hello world and the text we want to display well the application name hello world okay what you put here is not super critical but if you copy me it'll make it easier let's click finish Now, if you've never done any programming whatsoever before, that's okay. What you're going to see is a bunch of programming language. Uh, but if you just copy what I'm doing, you'll get the idea of how all this works. So I'm going to double click on, or I'm going to press on the plus sign under the Hello World app we just created. And we're going to drop down and hit by hitting the plus sign in the SRC folder and then we're gonna double click here and then we want to select the hello world Java application okay now you're gonna get some text here we're gonna edit this now what all these things mean we don't need to get into now but it but just copy what I'm doing and we'll be able to create the program now you remember earlier I said that your program window may appear different than mine and that could be the case in this instance as well now what's important though is that uh, you notice the line here where it says super now what you see in this area may have something different like it may say I circle or something but the current program I have says save instant state so whatever it is on the line where it says super go to the very end and hit enter and we're going to begin typing right under where it says super and this is what we'll type text view space TV equals new space text view and we want to put a little bracket here and type this and there's already and we want a bracket on the other side and we want a semicolon okay then hit enter we're gonna to go to the next line TV dot set text we want a bracket and we're gonna type our text which is um, hello world in quotes we got another bracket there and a semicolon okay it's basically all we're going to add here. So let's double check it. Text view exactly how I how I've written it. Space TV equals new space text view. This in brackets with no spaces between the uh, W and the bracket or the T. 
followed by a bracket and a colon. TV dot set text. Notice the capitals that I've used in various places. We've got another bracket here. There's no space between the T. In quotes, we have hello world, another bracket, and a colon. Okay, double check your text. That's what we want. Now, the bottom line that you have may appear different than this. That's okay. You just want to make sure you insert this text right here below super. Okay, let's go up here. We'll select run. And we're going we want to run this configuration. So I'm just going to click down here. Run configurations. Now it's going to ask uh, to name this. So let's go down here and click on Android. And uh, it says new configuration. We want to change that. And we're going to give it the name we just used. Hello, comma, world. Keep it consistent, capital. Now, down here, we want to name it Hello World. And we're going to leave it as our launch default activity. Or we can select Launch, and you can select the uh, activity we named it earlier. Okay? Now, I'm going to hit Apply. and then I'm gonna hit run. Let's go ahead and save the changes and then it's gonna to begin to run the application. Okay, now Eclipse is now controlling our Android emulator with that plugin we installed earlier. We've already seen the Android emulator running, but now that we've created the Hello World application, we should begin to we should see a new application within the menu system. Might take just a little bit to load. And we're getting our little robot. Now what we've created is a very, very simple application. Nothing fancy. We just wanted to demonstrate how you can use those programs to get something onto the Android phone that actually launches and installs. Even though it wasn't complicated, we we're, were, were able to do it. Okay, program's loading, and immediately launches our Hello World application. That's because we ran it directly from Eclipse. Now if we go to the menu, or the home, let's click the home button, and let's click the up arrow which is going to show all our applications. Uh, now here's our new application, the Hello World application is now on the Google phone. Okay, so basically in just a few steps we learn how to get an application onto the Google phone using Eclipse uh, just to launch a simple Hello World program.